Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and this is a video for all the wet shavels out there, people who shave with safety razors, straight razors, so on and so forth. Feel free to watch if you're not into that, but this is probably not going to be the most entertaining video because I'm asking for help. Um, I just got back from Canton, Texas uh, during their false Monday sale, or trades day, and I bought this gold-plated razor for 30 bucks. The box says aristocrat, and when I first saw this, I was like, oh cool, an aristocrat. I, uh, aristocrat. I kind of know what that knife is. It's a gold-plated knife. It was very nice for its time period, so I bought it. But then I realized there were some things that didn't seem kosher. Um, first off, as far as I know, the aristocrat knife is a uh, butterfly or torn-to-open uh, razor, as this... Um, this is um, a um, three-piece um, razor. Now, I happen to know that the uh, aristocrat was first introduced in 1910, I think. And it wasn't until 1937, I think, that they came out with the twist-to-open or butterfly-open um, mechanism for the razor. So it is possible that this is just a very old aristocrat that doesn't have that feature. But I don't know. I looked for pictures online and I couldn't find a picture that matched this handle. This handle, I don't know what the pattern is, but you know, it has these uh, grooves in it and then the, uh, from here down is checkered. Um, all the gold plating seems to match, uh, so I, I'm assuming that this head belongs to this handle. But um, yeah. It's uh, a gold-plated safety razor, and let's see if I can um, show you the bottom. There was the Gillette symbol right there at the bottom left. There were some patent numbers made in the USA. It does not have a date code, which also kind of makes it confusing for me to identify it. So if you would, please... Help me ID this um, uh, safety razor. You can see the patent numbers. And, um, you know, just help me out with that. I would really like to know uh, the model of this uh, safety razor, when it was made, and um, then I can start enjoy shaving with it. Not that I can't shave with it without knowing that information, but I would really like to know what I have. So that's that. Also, something else that I got was this uh, Morgan Silver Dollar from 1879. It's 9% silver, and um, I overpaid for it. And um, I realize that now. I'm not too concerned with that. Um, uh, they usually run like anywhere from $23 to uh, $25, uh, depending on the grade. It can go to $30 to $39. I paid $45 for this one. It's nothing special. I like it, but I did overpay for it, but considering the other places I could have bought it at that flea market. But that's it. I hope you all have a great day, and thank you in advance for the, for the help, and you all have a nice day. I'm Satsu5, and I'm out.